Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Today, we have a very interesting story. The girl who could not stop laughing. That is going to be today's story. The author of the story is Meera Ganapati and the illustrator is Roche and the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. <laughs> An explosive sound erupted across the 4B classroom. Gundapan sir, the maths teacher, knew exactly where the bomb had exploded. So this is Gundapan sir, the mathematics teacher. During the class, someone is having a huge laughter. This is in 4B classroom. Let us see who is laughing. T. Sundari, please leave the classroom, he said. The class went quiet. And everyone looked at T. Sundari, who sat on the fifth bench. So this is T. Sundari. She was the one with the exploding laughter. And Gundapan Sarva has gotten very angry and he said, leave the classroom. The entire class was so silent and everybody was looking at T. Sundari. But sir, please sir, I tried to control my laughter, but it burst out of me. Everyone in 4B burst out laughing too. Poor thing, T. Sundari is now pleading to Kundapan sir. Sir, please, please leave me because I was trying to control the laughter, but it just came out of me. T. Sundari laughed a lot. She laughed for nearly everything. This is the, the main character of our story, T. Sundari, and she laughed a lot for everything. For example, last week, a classmate told T. Sundari this joke. Why does math sir always look sad? Because he has to solve so many problems. T. Sundari had narrowed her eyes and giggled. <laughs> no wonder everyone laughed when they saw Gundapan sir now. So someone in her class, T. Sundari's class, had a joke. He asked, why does the math sir always look sad? Gundapan sir is always looking sad. Why does he look sad? Because he has to solve so many problems. We have so many problems in mathematics, right? That you saw, T. Sundari found it very funny. And now that that joke was out, everybody in the class laughed when they saw Gundapan sir. Every joke evoked a different reaction from T. Sundari. Sometimes a guffa, <laughs> sometimes a giggle. Sometimes a polite laugh. <laughs> For every joke, she found it so funny. She's someone who laughs a lot, right? Sometimes it is loud laughter. A guffa means loud laughter. Sometimes it's a giggle. It's not a big laughter. <laughs> you're lightly laughing. And sometimes you're doing a polite laugh. You're not actually finding it very funny, but you still want to uh, laugh because you don't want to hurt someone. Ha ha ha, you just make a ha ha ha. Sometimes a gadot kacha laugh. <laughs> Sometimes when T. Sundari tried really hard to suppress her laughter, it would burst out of her like a bomb. <laughs> In the Indian epic Mahabharata, Gadotkacha is a huge and powerful Rakshasa with a loud and rumbling laugh. Sometimes what would happen? T. Sundari would laugh like a Gadotkacha. Gadotkacha was this huge Rakshasa in Mahabharata. 
So he would have a very loud laughter. Sometimes Chi Sundari would laugh like that when she when she finds something that funny. It was such a big laughter like Gadod Kaja. Sometimes when she wants to try controlling her laughter, she is not able to control her laughter and it explodes like a bomb. Like she did in her class, right? In her math class, like that. T. Sundari was worried. Was there something wrong with her? Why couldn't she stop laughing? She needed to do something. Stuffing a hanky in her mouth didn't help. It just popped out of her mouth when she laughed. Now T. Sundari was worried. Is there something wrong with me now? Why am I laughing so much? I need to do something about it. Sometimes what she does, she puts her handkerchief. Kerchief, hanky means handkerchief in her mouth so that she can stop laughing. But it just comes out of her mouth when she starts laughing. T. Sundari made a list of things she found funny. Farts, Toilet jokes, the word bonda, people slipping on banana peas, and ticking. Sundari made a list of things that she found funny. Farts she found very funny. Toilet jokes she found very funny. Someone mentions the word bonda, she found it to be very, very funny. She started laughing. If she found somebody slipping on a banana peel, and falling down, that also she found very funny. And when somebody was tickling, that also she found very funny. So what is tickling? Tickling means like this they do, right? Lightly when they touch um, in places where it is sensitive, you feel like this slightly itchy, you feel like it is, uh, you feel like uh, a laughing, that's called tickling. I will make sure I never laugh at these again, decided T. Sundari. Why did she make that list with all the things that she found funny? Now she has decided for all those things, she will never laugh, okay? Next day during library, P. Manigandan moved behind a bookcase and let out a delicate sound right next to T. Sundari. T. Sundari, who knew a fart when she heard one, erupted in laughter forgetting all about her list. This was not going to work. It was time for plan B. So now that she has made a list and she has decided she'll not laugh for any of those funny things, next day during library, what happens? This kid, P. Manigandan, he moves behind a, a bookcase and he lets out a, a fart. What happens? Sundari, when she hears a fart, she knows what it is. And she starts laughing, forgetting all about the list she had made the day before. Then she realizes, oh, this is not working. I have to do something about it. So she has a plan B now. She has one other plan. Let's see what that is. Skandu Anna, T. Sundari's older brother, and a scientist was plan B. Maybe he could invent a machine that could stop her from laughing. When T. Sundari told him what was bothering her, Skandu Anna, who was usually the serious sort, burst out laughing. So what was uh, T. Sundari's plan B? She went and spoke to Skandu Anna. Skandu Anna is T. Sundari's older brother. And he's a scientist as well. W what was her plan B? So she thought Skandu Anna can invent a machine and that would make her stop laughing. So when she told what her problem was, Skandu Anna started laughing. T. Sundari wondered if this was a family problem. Did they all have the same laughing disease? No, Skandu Anna explained. T. Sundari, it's very normal for human beings to laugh when they find something funny. 
Some people laugh more than others and that is fine. So now that Skandu Anna also started laughing, T. Sundari was worried. She was wondering, probably this is a family disease. I think we all have this laughing disease. Something is wrong with us. Then Skandu Anna explains, no, no, there is absolutely nothing wrong with us. All human beings will laugh when they find something funny. Some people will laugh more, some people will laugh less, but it is all perfectly okay. Really? said T. Sundari, who had always been told she laughed too much. Yes, in fact, laughter is good for health. Skandu Anna reassured her. It releases chemicals that bring us joy. So now that Skandu Anna had, had told that there is nothing wrong, Sundari wants to confirm. Really? Do you think there is nothing wrong? Because everybody seems to be scolding her that she is laughing too much. Skandu Anna explains, yes, laughter is good for a lot of things. It is good for your health. How? He says, when you laugh, your body gives out certain chemicals that will give you lot of happiness. We actually laugh because we are happy about something, right? We find something funny. That's why we laugh. So that, that nice feeling makes us very happy. Did you know even early humans laughed? Anna asked her. T. Sundari imagined a man with a large beard and a big club giggling like her in drawing class. Yes, said Anna. Human ancestors were laughing long before they had language. It was their way of telling each other that everything was okay. Skandu Anna now keeps explaining. He says, even the early humans, long time back also, people were laughing. Then T. Sundari, she has a very fertile imagination. Now she starts thinking, there are these bearded beard, lots of beard, um, these old cave people. And they are giggling, ha 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 ha, they are saying, during their drawing class. The early ma men or the cave men didn't know how to write, right? They were drawing. So instead of regular school, they were having drawing class and these uh, uh, early cave men were laughing. She was imagining that. So Anna keeps explaining that humans were laughing even before they started having a proper language. The laughter was a sign to say that things were all okay. Today we laugh to show others that we like them or to express our happiness. Other animal species can laugh too, T. Sundari. Like chimpanzees, bonobos, rats, dolphins, and even dogs, Anna told her. The thought of her pet dog Muttu laughing set T. Sundari off again. So Anna kept explaining further. He said, now we smile at people, right? To show that we like them. Sometimes we laugh because we find something funny or we are showing our happiness for all these things, we laugh. And it's, it's not just humans that uh, expresses all these uh, laughter. Uh, other lot of other animals in the animal kingdom also laugh. Which other animals laugh? Chimpanzees. Chimpanzees. Have you seen a chimpanzee in a zoo or on TV? Chimpanzees are these type of monkeys. Bonobos. Bonobos are also a type of monkeys. Rats, you know what rats are? Dolphins, uh, you would have seen them on TV. Um, they are these fish, right? With a snout like this. They're very friendly fish. And those dolphins also laugh. And some of the type of dogs also laugh. Anna explained. Then this again made T. Sundari laugh again because she was imagining her pet dog, Muttu, starting to laugh. That made her laugh again. When the laughter finally subsided, Anna said, do you know you just exercised, T. Sundari? How, Anna? We were talking the whole time. 
whenever you smile even a little the muscles of your face get to work so each time you giggle or laugh it's a complete workout for your face anna told her oh said t sundari will my cheeks have biceps then so after she had finished laughing anna kept explaining further he said you know that you have done some major workout you it is like you have exercised a lot and t sundari is like how anna no we were just talking we didn't do any exercise then he says no no when you smile giggle or laugh what happens all the muscles in your face they all do a workout it's like they are doing some exercises so it is excellent for the muscles in your face then t sundari asks so will my muscles have biceps you know what a bicep is it's the muscle that you find here bodybuilders or people who exercise a lot they show right that this is uh, this becomes big this is their biceps so she asks whether i'll have biceps like this it will become anna smiled not biceps no those are in your arms but whenever you laugh the zygomaticus major and minor muscles in your face help pull your expression upwards and outwards in a smile but what about the sound that makes others laugh too said t sundari so when you breathe air passes through your vocal cords into your lungs but when you laugh the air is held back leading to those rhythmic ha 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 sounds that you can't seem to stop anna explained now anna has started explaining in a very technical way so he says your face will not get biceps biceps is, is in your arms but what happens there are these two muscles called zygomaticus major and minor muscles that help your face it will pull it like this like this your mouth goes like this right outwards and wide so that you it is like smiling so two of those muscles are working which is called zygomaticus major and minor muscles so that's how you form a smile so she asks okay that's how the muscles work how does the sound happen so when you laugh you are doing <laughs> we are doing that right when you are giggling or something how does that sound happen so anna explains that as well so when we breathe what happens the air passes here is your vocal cord that makes all the noise when we talk or sing or all those things are through your vocal cords so when the air passes it passes through this and goes into your lungs but when you laugh what happens it is held back you are basically stopping it a little so making that noise or sound that we make when we laugh we stop and some of it goes again to the lungs again we stop it goes back to your lungs like that it happens right that's why your laughter is also like that it makes the rhythmic rhythmic meaning following a pattern we do that ha 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 thing because of that so t sundari you understand that laughter is perfectly natural so long as you are not hurting anyone's feelings there is nothing wrong with a good laugh t sundari felt so much better now that anna has explained so much he asks do you understand that laughter is perfectly natural and it is perfectly okay as long as you are not hurting anyone there is nothing wrong in having a nice laugh t sundari is now feeling much better it's almost tea time shall we have a bonda then said skandu anna knowing perfectly well what would happen next t sundari couldn't stop laughing not even after the bonda was in her belly skandu anna what did he say now that it's almost tea time shall we have a bonda 
and skandu anna knows that the word bonda triggers a laughter in t sundari as expected t sundari started laughing after hearing the word bonda even after finishing her bonda it all went to her tummy even till then she was laughing can you do all these laughs gadod gaja <laughs> bomb laugh <laughs> which of vadanapalli west <laughs> giggle <laughs> gargle <laughs> fake laugh <laughs> Let us look at some of the difficult words that we found in today's story. Giggle, laugh lightly and repeatedly in a silly way. Gaffa, gaffa means loud burst of laughter. Explosive means very loud, like a bomb bursting. Erupted. means burst out suddenly evoke means bring or recall a feeling or an image suppress means to control or put down hanky means handkerchief bothering bothering means troubling or disturbing chimpanzee they are a type of great ape or monkey found in africa the first picture on your screen is that of a chimpanzee bonobo a type of chimpanzee with black hair and black face found in africa the second picture that you see on your screen of that of a monkey with a black face and black hair is a bonobo dolphin a large fish with a beak like snout and curved fin on the back you can see a picture of the dolphin in your screen subside becomes less intense or severe try these questions do you laugh a lot how do you laugh like gadot kacha or just a giggle write about a joke or funny incident that made you laugh a lot like t sundari can you make a list of things that make you laugh did you guys like today's story i really enjoyed it until next time keep laughing bye